guys, what's going on? This is JTEX here coming at you with a Minecraft challenge video here today. It's a new series that I'll be bringing to my channel every day for like the next week and a half or so. And a lot of you may be confused or some of you may be confused as why. Well. So let me go ahead and ex take a few minutes to explain what I'm talking about. And what that is, it all started, I was browsing Twitter yes, last night, about to go to bed. I just wanted to get some daily dose of giggles in before I dozed off into La La Land. And... One video or one tweet that caught my eye was Syndicate uploaded a video and liked the video, so it was posted up on Twitter about Parallel Island. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I watch Syndicate's videos a lot every now and then if I have time to watch them. Um, because he, he does upload some pretty long videos, as you can tell. Minecraft videos are his uh, My Night series are about like two hour videos, so that's a pretty extensive time there. Um, so I went ahead and looked at his video, and it was a pretty short episode. It was about 20 minutes. I was like, okay, I think I can watch this. So I started watching it, and the first thing that comes out of his mouth was something along the lines of, I'm challenging Optic in a race to kill the Ender Dragon, and you guys can join us. Now, those weren't his exact words, but that was the general idea. And I wanted to, like, I wanted to actually hear that clearly, because it sounded like he just challenged his viewers in a race against them to kill the Ender Dragon. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like, I don't know if this is something along the lines of he's going to pick people, or uh, you got to send in, like, fan art, or what, what's going on. Uh, but it was a little bit more clear when he said that if you wanted, you could create this specific world. He gave a link to the seed that you had to use and uh, you had to set it on hardcore. I'll, I'll go into more detail about that later. If you wanted to, you could create this world and create videos and join them, uh, join along with them in a race to kill the Ender Dragon. So it's like, oh wow, that's so cool. I mean, like, I upload a bunch of solo survival series. I upload a bunch of multiplayer videos. I got all these different types of videos out on my channel. I might as well try this video out and see where it goes, like try this new series out because I mean I really haven't done anything along the lines of this. It was actually super interesting because nobody that I've ever collaborated with was like, hey let's do a race against time or a race against each other to see who could kill the Ender Dragon or the Wither or whatever first. And I was like, this is pretty cool. So he started listing off some rules. The first rule was you had to play on this island, and he gave a link to the seed, which I'll, I'll leave all this, I'll copy and paste exactly what was in his description into my description down below. Not exactly, because he had all of his Twitter stuff like that. But I'll copy and paste all the rules down into my description below. If you want to take part in this, you can. I mean, you're not limited to what you who, who and who cannot uh, play this game with us or, or play this challenge with us. So, you have to play on this seed, uh, but with this seed, it's not technically 100% a lonely island, because he did say that there are some mainlands out there somewhere, you just had to go swimming for a little bit, you're not allowed to go to the mainlands, you have to stay on this island. I know some people were talking about, hey, I saw some more islands out there, uh, can I go visit those? I'm going to assume you can't because he did end up saying like you have to stay on this island. Of course you can travel down into like the catacombs and stuff like that of, of cave systems to go find materials. And uh, so I'm pretty sure that's perfectly fine. You just can't leave the island uh, to go to other ones. So you're not allowed to do that. You have to stay on this island. You have to play in hardcore mode. So if you die, I mean you could restart. Or you can just be like, well, damn, I died. That's depressing. Let me just go ahead and upload what I got and uh, see w see how I did. So this will be super cool. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty intrigued. Uh, all right, so moving on. More rules. It has to be, if you are going to be a video creator, because he said you didn't have to be a YouTube content creator to take part in this. You can be um, somebody that's just playing the game, and you can upload pictures about what you've done that day, or you can tweet at him, you can do fan art, or, or whatever. You don't have to necessarily be a video creator like myself, or maybe like what you're going to do. And I was just like, okay, that's super cool. He's uh, interacting with the audience as much as possible, not just... Not just video creators and stuff. Did I really get all the trees? What? Only 47 logs. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say that's only 47 logs because this, this is, this, these are a lot of trees. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, get some of this grass going because I have played on a um, solo or a lonely island map before and food is like your biggest enemy. Like, oh my god, the, the amount of times that I've not able to come across food is just absurd. It makes me want to cry just a tad bit on the inside. Um, so I'm going to focus on food. 
Okay, moving on. Rules. All right, so you have to play in hardcore mode. You can't leave the island. You have to, uh, if you're going to record videos, they have to be about 20 to 25 minutes long. You can't upload, like, the entire series of you uh, completing the video or, like, completing the challenge in one video. That, that'd be depressing. Um, I'd be like, I suck, man. Somebody already beat me. That makes me want to cry. Um, but, yeah, all right, so... Uh, I think that's a, really about it. I can't really think of anything else. You have to play on hardcore. You have to stay on this island. And you have to play. Uh, you have to record 20 to 25 minutes. I don't exactly remember all that I'm forgetting. I'm pretty sure there are a lot more rules to this than uh, what I'm actually reading out of my head right here. But I can't think of anything else, to be honest. Um, I mean, if you die, you die. I'm pretty sure you can create another world at that point if you want to. Um, but, I mean, it is whatever. Wait a minute. Wait, what is that? Is that... That's super weird. I've never seen something like that before. What is that? That doesn't look like... That does not look like a... um. A monument. An ocean monument. Because those things are huge. That looks like a little... That honestly looks like, like some sort of aquatic prison of some sort, I guess. I mean, it looks really weird. I'm, I'm confused as to what's going on right there. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I don't want to go check it out because, yes, I'm on hardcore. If I take unnecessary damage, I, I mean, the objective is to not, like, play Minecraft normally. It, you're here to um, try and survive and race everybody else to see what you can do and see if you can get to the Ender Dragon first before anybody else. Um, odds are you may or may not get there first simply because there are a lot of people doing this. I mean, he had he had like 180,000 views and I guarantee you every 180,000 of those people kind of did this video because anybody has access to Minecraft. I mean, if they watch uh, Syndicate, they have access to Minecraft. So I'm pretty sure they're going to go ahead and try this, uh, this out and see how well they're going to be able to do. Um, of course, I mean, I took it upon myself to try it out simply because I was like, I've never done like a Minecraft, uh, Minecraft racing challenge before. And you know what? I was like, let's give it a go and see how well we do this. It'll be super cool. I'm intrigued by this. I really am. So I went ahead and took it upon myself to do it. And I'm pretty sure there may be somebody else that's like me. That maybe they do YouTube videos and they upload like a bunch of solo videos or, or uh, other multiplayer videos on Minecraft servers that they might want to do. And then they see this and be like, oh, this is something new. Let me go ahead and try it. And I'm just over here like, yes, good idea. Let's try it. Why am I using my hands when I have a bunch of tools I mean it may be wood but it's better than using my hands man I mean come on what is this let me go ahead and make this I can't believe I'm doing this like I'm so used to just just chilling and relaxing and then just talking about things that I actually forgot that I'm on a time crunching schedule here like I'm in a race against time right here like I'm, I'm not a race against time but I'm a race against other people and I'm using my hands to dig up uh, dirt which is not good at all because I mean like I, I need to use my uh, I need to use tools so that way I get this done this stuff done fast and I need to get it done fast like like I said I'm I'm racing against other people here so I need to get myself uh, some sort of house going here I'm probably gonna need to uh, dig another shovel because the perimeter already got this thing down to like red I have about five uses left in this thing so uh, this is gonna be pretty unfortunate when it breaks here in about two one oh well I was one off okay uh, but let's go ahead and create one more. I got plenty of wood. Uh, I also have a bunch of saplings that I can use, so we need to go ahead and do that. Um, we also need to get, like, a bunch of uh, seed farms going because, as you guys know, this is on Hardcore. Your number one enemy on Survival Island when it comes to Hardcore is food. Simply, I mean, you just there's no animals here, and you will die. Um, and, I mean, it just all has to deal with the fact that if you take damage, you're not going to heal if you're not at, like, nine hearts and above, I think is what it is. So, the moment you take damage from, like, a zombie or a skeleton, that damage is, like, permanent until you find food. And food is super, super hard to come across. So... That is something that I need to look out for. I need to keep an eye out for it. A specific... Oh, wow. I'm already, no, I'm not. I'm not out of wood. I was about to say, am I already out of wood? That was fast. I'm pretty sure I had like three stacks of 64 wood. 
I'm a little bit confused, but I didn't. I had more, which is super good. Okay, so I need to get myself uh, some sort of house going, so that way I can have some sort of living quarters. It is getting it's getting dark here soon, so I don't want to be outside. I, I want to be inside. I'm going to use uh, some of this wood for for my house. Uh, I don't think I really need wood other than that uh, for any type of means like stone. I would save the stone for stone tools. I have already a, uh, a pickaxe. Uh, I mean, I can. I I'm probably also going to create myself a. Um, um, I'm also going to create myself a sword uh, for temporary use. Uh, probably a stone sword. I think I'm going to skip the wood sword. I don't really think the wood sword is going to be necessary. So let me go ahead and move this along here. And click that and click this um, but I also want to add in something um, to my design like something different with me that uh, that'll make my video sort of unique I guess and oh no I'm out of wood what it can't be how am I already out of wood oh shoot okay hang on what we need to do is uh, let's go ahead and just build it I... shit okay I need to build an axe. I really need to build. Oh man, this is not good. I don't like working at night. This is not. This is not. I don't like this. Senpai, please don't kill me. I really hope nothing comes in here. You know what? I'm just gonna put up dirt. Forget it. I'm putting up dirt. It doesn't really matter. Um, that's. I guess that's where my door's gonna go. Whatever. Uh, all right. So we need to build ourselves an axe. We need to build an axe, and uh, this way we can uh, take out un unnecessary wood. We are going to build. Um. This is going to be the path down into my, my cave system here in the future. Um, so, we'll go ahead and dig that up. We'll also go ahead and dig up a piece of wood uh, for the crafting table, you know, just to save some space. I mean, we need it. We need as much space in here as possible, so that way I can have uh, wood for my walls. All right, so let me go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and do all this. Um, and we'll go ahead and dig this one up right here as well. All right, so I got about two two doors left let's see where do I want to build my door where do I want to build my door uh, my door will be right my door will be right here this is where my door is gonna go so we're just gonna go ahead and break these two blocks and put a uh, dirt right there and we're gonna go ahead and take these blocks right here and we're gonna go ahead and fill these up with wooden planks like that there we go so my walls are complete the only thing I need to worry about right now are spiders which I mean um, which is unfortunate I think I'm just gonna do maybe a, a dirt um, maybe a dirt ceiling of some sort since like uh, some sort <laughs> since like spiders are gonna be an actual problem I mean this is hardcore I don't want to take any unnecessary damage so this will be unfortunate if I were to die uh, but like I said, guys, I'm going to put my own twist on things before I realized I ran out of stone or uh, a wood for my house. Uh, what my own twist is, I will still uh, put a lot of effort into home design, home decor and stuff like that. Make my house look pretty and whatnot. Uh, that is my number one goal is to always make my houses look pretty. I mean, I really enjoy making my houses look pretty, guys. Like, don't don't hate on me. That's not too fun. That's not nice. Don't hate on me. Um... But yeah, alright, so hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to, uh, let's see, is there anything out here? I need to just put dirt blocks in these corners, so that way, what? I had to sneeze, so that way I can jump up and check. Let's see, I don't see any zombies or anything like that, any skeletons or any zombies. Um, alright, so we're, we're on the clear, we're good to go. I'm going down, let's say, to about right here. I'm going to build myself, um... Uh, a, a farm. I need to get seeds to. I need to get seeds built so that way, um, I, I get my food going here real soon. So let me go ahead and bring this out. Like so. I don't know why I'm not going into the water. I, I just. I've been thinking that water kills you. Anytime I do that, I feel like water kills you of some sort. But it, but it really doesn't. So it's super weird. Um, it doesn't seem like there are any mobs out right now. Oh, wait a second. We, no, we are on hard difficulty. Where are the mobs at? Where are the mobs at? Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Maybe because the island's so small, like, mobs don't spawn within, like, 20 blocks of you. That could be the problem. Um, interesting. I guess it'll have to do. Okay, uh, I need a little bit more stone. I need to get myself a stone hoe, so that way I can, uh, get some... 
some food going. So, especially that with bread. So let me go ahead and head down this way, get myself my stone hoe. And I uh, also need to replant my trees that I, uh, that I, that I dug up. So let me go ahead and replant those. I don't know why I just don't take my door right there, my, my somewhat idea of a door. Because, I mean, like, it is usable right now. I'm pretty sure it is usable. Uh, oh, no, I thought I saw a creeper. I was like, oh, well, we do have mobs now. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Um, all right, so let's see what we got going on over here. Nothing too special. Now we need to take a bunch of this dirt that we, uh, that we got up, and we'll need to replant our, our trees. So let's see. Is there a good place? that I could go to replant my trees. I think what I'm gonna do is is do it over here next to the sugar cane. Let's go ahead and mine up this sugar cane and we're gonna create ourselves, I guess, some sort of tree farm. And uh, what that is, let's see, do I have, let's see, all I got is dirt. Okay then, um, I'm gonna create a path right there and right here. I think this is all you need. All, all you need is like one path or something like that. I'm so glad like sharks aren't in this game yet. That makes me super happy because <laughs> I mean if sharks were in this game by now I think I'd cry just a little bit on the inside because it's just like I don't I don't want to deal with this right now like you just you just come along putting duh in and then a shark just comes out and oh, and just kills you so that'd be pretty unfortunate uh, let me go ahead and uh, fill this up with dirt we are going to Oh, oh, oh I, I ran out of dirt there for a second. This is going to be my tree farm. Uh, the reason I'm doing it over here instead of like up there, obviously, is because I want like a, um, a flat land to just be able to, to cut down as much trees as possible. I don't want like uneven ground to where it gets to the point to where like trees are, are uh, forming in, in some weird, weird areas. So let's see. I don't know the programming when it comes to trees. So I really hope, let's see, hang on. It's like one, two, three, one, two, three, and then break. Hmm. Let's move it over to like that. One, two. Yeah, that way it's a little bit away from that. All right. I don't. I don't think this will grow. I really don't think this will grow. Let's let's put it at the edge. Maybe it'll grow at the edge. I'm pretty sure it will grow at the edge. There we go. Like so. And see if those trees grow. I, I'm not too for sure. I don't know the coding 100% when it comes to trees. I've never actually had to do that before where, where I created my own tree uh, quote-unquote farm thing. So I've never had to do that. So I don't know exactly uh, how it works. All right. So um, now we need to find some coal. We need to get some coal going. I mean, I got plenty of time. Um, I'm only like 18 minutes into this episode. So, I mean, that's super good. I, I have a lot to work with here, guys. So that's awesome. And this gives me the opportunity to get myself some coal, which is actually super good. I want to get coal and iron. I, I, I want iron, like, specifically uh, because of, uh, I mean, I got flint now. So that's actually super good. I can get myself flint and steel. Awesome. Um, let me go ahead and get this. Uh, dig up all of this gravel. Dig up all of this gravel. All of it. All of it. All of it. There we go. Ex oh. Um, I think I went down too far. There we go. Let's see. And dig that out. Um, eh, this could be my temporary base. I think I could do that. I create my like my base here of some sort. That'd be super cool. Awesome. There we go. Bam. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right. There we go. And take up this gravel. I don't have a shovel on me. I just realized my shovel broke, which is unfortunate. Um, and we'll just go ahead and dig straight down. We're not going to do anything like super fancy, like digging uh, a stairwell of some sort. We're just going to dig um, straight down like this to make like a straight line stair. And I'm not too afraid of running into water, am I? No. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to run into our ocean, which is super good. Uh, keeps us out of the way of uh, all those bad things. But... Let's see what we got going on around here. I said I wasn't going to take any, like, spiral staircases, but I just went left. You know what? Because, like, the inner me was like, okay, you're not finding anything. You need to move left. I need to hurry up and get, um, like, I, I want to find a skeleton to kill, but I need iron. I need coal. I need all that stuff so I can, like, like, fut oh. Uh. Well, guys, I found the end portal that was fast has anyone else found the end portal like on episode one have it has anyone else actually found the end portal on episode one like this is oh hello mr. zombie okay so this is like this is uh, right next let's see I'm really interested in going into here 
Oh wait, I have a stone sword. Never mind. What am I doing? Ho ho ho! There's a bunch of zombies in here. There's a bunch of zombies. There's a skeleton right there too. Yep, I'm dead. Well then, ha! <laughs> okay, ah. Interesting start, if I do say so myself. There's nothing up here that's that's super awesome. I love this game. Holy crap. Ah, uh, let's see. Is there any creepers or anything out here? Let me just go ahead and check real quick. We still have our dogs. That's awesome. We have bones. We got bone meal. So I think it's a... Uh, I think it'd be very intelligent of us to uh, not go back down there. That was a very stupid mistake. But let's go ahead and take this bone meal and turn this right here into fully grown wheat. There we go. Excellent. Now we got more wheat. Um... I used about three, that's unfortunate. All right, here's a stone, like so, and we'll go ahead and plant these two seeds, and one, two, oh, excellent, awesome. Um, even though this this last bit of stone bone meal is not going to create ourselves um, some magically delicious uh, seeds, but we will keep it on us, just in case, or uh, this way, um, you know what, let's see. Let's go ahead and use cobblestone. One heart by episode one. First episode, one heart. <laughs> well then, that's 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 awesome. I, I I'm so gonna lose this game. That makes me want to cry just a little bit on the inside. I I should not have done that. I really should not have done that. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I mean, like, look at my health. Look, I have nothing. I have no tools. I have no weapons. I had no armor, and I was. I was fighting them, and I'm just like, that was a bad idea, and I'm just, I regret it. You know what? It's stupid shit like that is what's going to make me lose in this series, like, a lot sooner than I am hoping. But you know what? Just things you got to deal with, I guess. All right, let's see what we got going on over here. Um, iron! Oh, how did I miss that? What? How did I miss that iron? I don't know how that's possible. Uh, well, shit. Um, okay then. Let me go ahead and, uh... Oh, there's some sandstone right there. That's interesting. Just give me some coal, at least. Give me some uh, some coal. I want coal. I want some delicious coal. Please, somebody. <laughs> give me some coal. Oh, uh, there's sandstone around here. I'm actually near the surface, so that's, uh, that's interesting. Um, ah, oh, man, I want to cry. But you know what? It seems like this episode is coming to a wraps. Uh, simply because my pickaxe just broke. I really don't have any ways of uh, rebuilding that, so I am uh, gonna have to end the episode off here, guys. I have officially gone stupid. <sighs> yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I did that. But you know what, guys? I really hope you did enjoy this first episode of Parallel Islands. If you did, please click that like button down below. It helps me out a ton. And be sure to root for me to win this game or win this race or whatever. And hopefully I do. I'm not at a great start. I put myself at a disadvantage, so this is extremely unfortunate. But anyways, guys, let me know what you thought about the video down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and you want to see more of my content. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.